Hope everyone's having a blessed day. By our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, are we looking forward to our blessed hope, as we will be caught up into the clouds with Him, and for we will, and we will ever be with our Lord in the air. Amen. So, we're going to discuss being caught up. That's sort of why I brought up being being raptured, and the word the word rapture is not in the Bible, just like the word Bible is not in the Bible. So, just because a word is not in the Bible doesn't mean that they spoke about it um, in different ways. And the word rapture is means rapturo comes from the Latin. It's a Latin word for caught up. Thus, the word caught up. And caught up um, was translated this way from the Greek in the New Testament. So, caught up does appear four times. We're looking at the four times here on the screen. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, thumbs up, and join us on thebloodchurch.org. And um, let's look at 2 Corinthians 12, 2. And I I find this really an interesting verse. I knew a man in Christ, so he was saved, above 14 years ago. So about 14 years ago. Whether in the body, I cannot tell, or whether out of the body, I cannot tell. So he doesn't know if he's alive or he's dead. Maybe this was an older gentleman. Such and one caught up to the third heaven. So now he's saying, hey, he's caught up to the third heaven. Caught up can only mean to be taken out of the earth, right? If you're going to be snatched out or caught up and to the third heaven, we don't live in the third heaven. I mean, there's there's no, no mistake here what this meant. Second Corinthians 12, chapter 4, it's the same chapter, how that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words, which it is not lawful for a man to utter. All right, so you see that Second Corinthians, you see the two two mentions of, of being caught up. First Thessalonians chapter 4, 17, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Amen and amen. Can't wait to have their trans, uh, trans, trans, uh, transformed body, whatever that new body will be for a Christian. And to get saved today is, is simple. Believe upon the blood atonement of Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ died on a cross about 2,000 years ago so that we would not have to go to hell, that we would not be separated from him. And he will, he will not be slack in his promises. He will come to call us out by our name with the trumpet voice of God. Amen. All right. So Revelation 12, 5. And she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God into his throne. So you can see the caught up. And if we look at First Thessalonians chapter chapter 4, we'll start at verse 14, for if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. Verse 15, for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. So in other words, the dead in Christ will rise first. Verse 16, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the, with the trump of God. So this is not a trumpet. That's the trumpet voice of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. In verse 17, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. In verse 18, wherefore comfort one another with these words. Amen. And we're looking forward to that, that soon return of the king. And if you look throughout the Bible, the second advent and the return of Jesus Christ as king over uh, the millennial kingdom, the kingdom, um, is talked about so many times in the Bible, all over the, the Bible. It's what the God the Father is looking most most forward to. And, and trust me, when I say he's not slack, he, he knows, God knows that Jesus Christ and, and King David will rule from Jerusalem. And he knows the tribulation, Jacob's t- trouble must come in first. And he knows that his raptured body of Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, will rapture his church next. And we will get to ride down again with the Lord Jesus Christ in our white robes, on our horses, behind the most powerful, wonderful, beautiful, smartest, greatest, 
being anyone could ever even fathom, and then plus, plus, plus some, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God and King, the great I am that I am, the King of kings and the Lord of Lord, Lord of all lords. And we will, you know, we will be with him forever, as, as the verses say. Whether that be down on earth during the millennial kingdom, whether that be in New Jerusalem, in our mansion, or whether that be in outer space. So in each and every one of you that uh, you know that worries about the future, don't. God's in control. God's got it. And uh, with this message, I hope this is a uh, hope to look forward to. As I don't think we're very far away. I don't, I don't think we're very far away in terms of God's time. You were certainly right at the door. In terms of man's time, I don't. And again, I, with the generation of the fig and of uh, the fig tree of the Israel generation, the last that we'll we'll see the second advent that. As the the fig tree blossoms, I think we're very close. God bless and have a great day.